Hi, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA, and in this video we're going to be looking at the Runtime Error 6, which is an overflow error, and then we're going to be looking at the Runtime Error 11, which is a divide by zero. And so we're just going to dig straight in. Now I'm not going to do a total video on divide by zero, because that kind of makes sense, because you can't return that. So this first line, I've got 2 divided by zero, can't work, math doesn't like that. You're going to get a division by zero, it's an easy fix, so you would change your change your formula. Uh, now that can happen if you had a zero in a in a variable, so it, it could happen, but it's typically an easy debug, it's an easy fix. This one's a little bit more different. Uh, if you have zero divided by zero, you would think that it would give you a runtime error 11, but it doesn't, it gives you an overflow. Now I don't specifically know why that's the case, but that is what they've determined that error should also be. Um, so you can have a zero divided by zero, which will give you that error. I want to show you what an overflow is. So basically, anytime you have a data type, this is from the um, the MSDN at Microsoft. Anytime you have a variable, it it will allocate a specific amount of memory to store that information. So, for example, if you've got a byte, it, its range you can you can use zero to two fifty five, but you can't use two fifty six, and you can't use a minus number. And so you can run into overflow errors with where you basically have you've done some math and based on that math you can't actually use that so where it would be most likely that you would run into that is if, if you stored an integer and all an integer is is um, it's a number from minus 32,000 to plus 32,000 etc so let me show you what that error looks like it's pretty straightforward we first of all we've got to declare these as an integer and we hit, hit F8, you'll notice that, I'm going to pull this back over, shrink it down so you can see the size that we have here. So you notice this is one bigger than your positive range. I'm going to get an overflow error. Now if I took that down to the, to the range and I hit, hit it, you'll notice it goes into my locals window just fine. Now I've got one minus, it's one less than the range, and I'm going to get the overflow as well. The same is true for a byte. I've added a byte as 155. Um, if you or two, sorry, excuse me, 255. If you made that 256, it would give you that overflow error. And typically, just that overflow error. What that means in general is that you're you have requested more memory than is required, and that does happen when you're using variables. Hope this is helpful, and I hope you enjoyed.